I grew up overseas in Manila, Bangkok, and Shanghai. My parents got me really into science experiments as a kid. They would buy me these kits that were like archaeological discovery kits or stuff you can buy for your kids. And I'd sit there and I'd like chip away at the rock and find these plastic bones. You know, they let me do random experiments like, what if I put all these things in a dish and bake it for an hour, you know? So they really encouraged me to pursue silly experiments like that and to figure out what I was interested in. And I think what that meant was that inspired a ton of curiosity in me. I really early um, found out that there's this crazy thing about science where you get to actually figure out things about how the world works. And I was super excited about that. Um, and I was super excited about the opportunities to impact health and impact people in a, in, through medicine. And I knew that took a lot of scientific understanding. In high school, when I was able to take AP or IB classes, I chose to do more science classes. Um, and I loved it, so that's why I kept going. I had really great science teachers along the way who inspired me to keep going. So when I came to USC, my major is human biology. And I chose to do that major because of how much I love science and I love health. Um, and I love the human context. So that's how I started. And in fact, my freshman year of um, college, I took a class with Dr. Gage Crump, who actually works in the stem cell department here. And it was about stem cells. And he went into all the science about it and talked about what are the papers saying? What are we figuring out now? And he would say, you know, this was published last week. We now know this. And I was just amazed. Um, and through that, I actually found a job working with Dr. Achita here in the stem cell department. And through that, I learned about more um, methods in stem cell biology and was able to figure out that I actually really love it. And from that, I decided to apply for the progressive master's degree, um, which is why I'm here now. So the progressive master's degree is a really unique program at USC that allows you to pursue a master's degree concurrently with your undergraduate degree. So I'm taking both master's classes and undergraduate classes and I'll actually finish both degrees at the same time in uh, spring this year. I'm actually currently applying to MD-PhD programs um, across the country which allows you to become a medical researcher through attaining both a medical degree and a PhD. So you learn the hard science, you learn what it takes to make a scientific discovery, and you do the medicine part so you learn physically how to treat patients. Right now in the cheetah lab I work on ALS which is a really uh, devastating neurodegenerative condition where patients lose motor neurons and become increasingly paralyzed in their bodies. Because motor neurons are so hard to isolate and study from patients, really little is actually known about the disease. And that's why stem cell biology is really, really cool for this disease, because we're able to take patient skin cells and turn them into um, neurons. And then we can take a look at these neurons or test drugs on them and figure out what actually is causing the disease. I think that the best advice I was ever given was to just keep doing it and to be creative and to be curious. Always ask questions always take the initiative to figure something out. We now have this awesome internet that we can just search things up on. And so much of my curiosity has, has led to me searching things up on the internet. And then if you don't know what you're talking about, ask someone. You know, there's always someone around who is willing, happy to answer questions. Contact your local university, talk to any professor, talk to anyone who might have any kind of insight into what you're interested in, and just don't let anyone discourage you from doing what you want to do.